Mickey has sunk her life savings into buying a houseboat, but it's a ship fight before it's even hit the water. She says the boat builder is all talk and no action, and she's not the only one. So you can look, but you can't touch. I can stand here and drool. I've been told to uh, shove off. Not welcome. Is Nigel here? Um, yeah, he should be. Yep. Boots are made for walking. Uh, yeah, can you please leave the premises, sorry. Do you guys treat your customers the same way? And boats, well, they're made for floating. The steering doesn't work, so it can turn one way, but it can't turn the other way. You know, it's so frustrating sitting Mickey's been that. booted from so Nigel's long. factory and is still waiting for a houseboat years in the making. Ugh. And Nigel, no-show Matthews, well, he's run to his lawyers as angry customers come out of the woodwork. Is Nigel coming out, mate, or...? It's Nigel, you're just a long, tall streak of pelican. What? A ship fight. So, where do we start? Well, first, we need to go back. No, no, that's the wrong Mickey. Try this one. Mickey DeStoop, the Logie award-winning television journalist. As we've seen, money speaks very loudly in the complaints area. She thought her days of being on camera were over, but this is a story she wants to tell. Well, I'm a, I'm a bloody idiot, Nat, because I've always trusted people. I believe people, you know. And, uh, this is the first time I can say in 75 years that I've been let down. It was here on the Hawkesbury, north of Sydney, where Mickey and Marg first met Nigel. His job, to build a houseboat, which these retirees would call home. So the guarantee was that we'd be on our houseboat by August 2022. That guarantee is something Nigel told Mickey he never made. But there, on his own, Platypus Boat's website is another time frame, six to nine months. We've paid $300,000. He, uh, in July last year, said if you, basically said, if you don't pay the final payment, work will stop. Two and a half years and $300,000. This houseboat doesn't look like it's even close to hitting the water. Have you thought about taking him to court? We just haven't got the money. At the end of the day, he's got your life savings, basically. He, do he does. Nigel's good at building boats, just ask him. He claims to be behind the hulls of some of our government's best commercial vessels. According to his LinkedIn, the former car salesman took over several established companies four years ago and started adding houses to the hulls. I'd uh, describe him as the most unethical businessman I've ever had to deal with. Yep. That's David Coe's another unhappy customer. So you've basically paid a quarter of a million dollars for a houseboat that doesn't move? Yeah, correct. This bathroom door... The lights and stuff don't work, all the electrics, all the water, like the toilet and the basins don't work. The steering did work, but now it's, for some reason, it's, it's not working. It's supposed to be a hard top roof in here with lights and stuff. The boat was brought from Nigel's Lake Macquarie factory to David's home in Sydney. And we're now in month 30, uh, and I still don't have a functional boat that I can use. Six to nine months at the time frame um, that the, the boat builder gave us. And while Nigel has seemingly acknowledged more work's required, he won't do it until David pays more money to moor the vessel. I think all hope is lost now. I think uh, what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to get uh, other people to finish the boat off. Yeah, we've got two, uh, two first year apprentices and we've just taken some staff on who've been unemployed for a little while and putting them through some new training programs. Is Nigel here? Um, yeah, he should be. We contacted Nigel days before we arrived. He clearly had time to tell his manager, Matt. Uh, yeah, can you please leave the premises, sir? This is a private venue. Right, we're just wondering if Nigel wants to have a chat to yeah, us. Yeah, on the other... Off, on the road. We're still waiting. And we're just wondering if this is the factory that sinks dreams and hearts. As far as Mickey and also others that, are concerned, it's, it's, it is. It's, it could have broken us and I'm not going to let him break me. No way. 
A current affairs aware of other customers upset with Nigel, but say they're too embarrassed to go on camera. Mickey, if only you could rock up with a trailer and take it away yourself. It would be ideal and it'd be better for him. That's where Mickey's at. She just wants him to hand over the boat and she'll count her losses and finish it herself. But even that's too much to ask. I'm 76, for God's sake, in June, and Nigel's taken that dream away from us. 